everybody! Today's video, well, is a viewer request. Now, a few weeks ago, I did a video about electrolysis where I removed the rust from a pair of pliers. And I said afterwards, you know, I would restore the pliers to a, to a mirror-like finish. Well, many of you commented on the video that, well, that's a process they'd like to see. Well, guess what? I'm not wearing sunglasses for nothing. Here's the thing. I restored the pliers to such a brilliant finish, well, I had to wear shades. And I'm going to tell you how I did it and show you how to do it so you can do it for yourself. Coming up next. Hi everybody, I'm Leah of CJ and Drill, and if this is your first time here, can I just say welcome? I'm glad you joined us. We're a home improvement channel where beginners are welcome as well. Now, I told you in the beginning of the video that I was going to show you how to get a mirror-like finish on any, well, on a pair of pliers, but really on any piece of metal. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to do it with a buffer, a sander, and a dremel. But what I want to tell you is this. You don't need a buffer. You don't need a dremel and you don't even need a sander to get that kind of brilliant mirror-like finish. All you need is a whole lot of time and your hands. You can hand sand, believe it or not, any piece of metal and get that brilliant shine, but it's going to take you a while to do it. So let's get started. When you're sanding metal, you want to make certain that you use a wet, dry sandpaper in combination with a lubricant of some sort. Now there may be those occasions where you may need to get a file to get into those really tough areas. <laughs> Now I've just got finished sanding with 320 sandpaper and this is what the results look like. Now I'm going to continue to move up through my various grits. I've already been through 80, I went to 120, 180, 220, 320 was the last grit that I used and as you can see it's coming along. Now I'll move on to 400. 600, I'll go up to 1,000, and then I'll go to the buffing wheel. Now, it may be difficult to find sandpaper that's 600, 1,000, 1,500, and up that come in these small little triangles. So I just cut my own, and then I take glue and I attach it to the, the back, and I wind up saving a ton of money doing it this way. Now we're in the home stretch. I've gone over my pliers here with 1,000 grit sandpaper, and this is what we've got, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this up really good, and I'm going to head over to the buffer, and I'm going to really buff this out. You're going to be really surprised what a mirror finish I'm going to wind up with. 
Okay, I'm at my buffing wheel, and I've got Tripoli here. That's what this is called. And it works a lot like sandpaper, believe it or not. And this is an all-purpose compound. And we're going to start off with this first. Now, what I want to tell you is when you're using a buffing wheel, you want to make certain that you're below the center point of the buff. And the reason for that is, so if you were to put your tool up top, it could throw it back at you. So always make certain that you're buffing below the center point of the buff so that if your tool does take off, it's going to take off away from you. Now I'm going to move on to the green polishing compound. This is going to give me a more refined finish and really bring out that mirror-like shine. So there we go. There's our mirror finish. So there we go. It's all buffed up and nice and shiny. And I got to tell you this. I'm pretty satisfied with the way it turned out. Let's do this. Let's see what kind of a reflection we get. Pretty nice, huh, folks? This is Leah saying, you can do this. See you next time.